good day to you, partner. I'm Dean, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. Hey guys, Wheat Solo here, aka The Skeleton King. So, I was able to get Ren's dummies working for Season 9. We are having issues with Pluggy, but that should be fixed soon. And I'm going to be starting my DPS test, as I said. First one was Archers. Uh, I guess here's the TLDW, which, don't tell me you do that, because I will ban you for life. Archers get... Benefits from Skeleton Mastery hard points, Skeleton Warrior hard points, and all of the damage on their tooltip, or just from the skill itself, or raised Skeleton Archer, is actually base damage. So any ED you get, whether it's from Skeleton Mastery, Skeleton Warrior, or Fanaticism, Might, Concentrate, um, Battle Command, etc., Heart of the Wolverine, all of that damage is going to multiply the base damage from the skill itself so they can end up doing like 8,000 sheet damage around skill level 50 okay I'm not going to be talking about some of the video I'm going to read some notes here because you guys can literally watch the video and see what I'm testing I think I did a pretty good job to explain every single test individually and what it means so Renato's tells me this that um, yes, archers get 6% synergy from Skeleton Mastery, same as my video. They get the 2% from Skeleton Warrior. Now they should get a soft point bonus from Skeleton Mastery, but it is not working. And that soft point bonus should be the plus two base damage that Skeleton Warriors do get with it. We're not sure why that isn't working, um, maybe it's not supposed to work and the developers designed it like that, or maybe it's a bug and it should work. I really don't know. I'm assuming it's not supposed to work, but it doesn't really matter either way. Archers are very, very fucking good in game. Okay. What I like about doing these tests is like, they're really good. <laughs> now they really do need auras. Trust me. Um, anything, anything else that's really good. So Skeleton Warriors, if they did get damage from Skeleton Mastery, would get like another 110 base damage. That's actually not a big deal. For Warriors, it is. For Archers, it would only be like an 8% DPS increase. Now, that's still good. It's not like you want to say, no, I don't want a DPS increase. But again, it's not a big deal, guys. They already have so much base damage. They're doing so good. Um, by the way, if we're talking level 55 Skeleton Archer, um, without Skeleton Mastery, soft points. If you have Pride, Beast, Heart of the Wolverine, T-Mite, same as in this video, or sorry, um, no Heart of the Wolverine, you're doing 8,036 8, damage. That's not per second, because Fanaticism actually decreases their frames per attack, and they attack slightly quicker than once per second. I believe it would be 22 frames, so they do like another, what, 10% TPS on top of that. Something kind of small, but it is worth mentioning. Now, if we go into how their health values are working, they get 15 HP per soft point from Skeleton Mastery. They don't get any hard point life from Skeleton Mastery, but they do get points from their own skill itself. Uh, what actually is good now is that since they get some amount of HP from Skeleton Mastery, their HP values are actually pretty good now. They're going to be around 3,800 life at 55-55, but for most players, let's say you're going to be around level 50 before you quit the game, they're going to have maybe 3,000 health, and trust me, it's not great, but they are not glass anymore. Although, trust me, a lot of map bosses might just obliterate them instantly. Uh, so thank you so much, Ren. Um, I also assume they have the same health regen as mages, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, I should have asked Ren, but it's too late. So anyways, as you can see, the values seem to be confirmed. So 100% damage, that's going to be very similar to 120% damage from Skeleton Mastery Synergy or earlier the like 34% from Skeleton Warrior Synergy. Now I'm doing some Iron Golem tests, which the reason why is is because I wanted to have um, the damage for archers with an Iron Golem aura, but then account for the fact that the Iron Golem is doing some DPS on his own. So you would just minus that from the next test. Also, 
The Iron Golem actually did significant damage on its own, so I'm highlighting some weapons here that would actually mean he would do more damage or just budget choices. So Pride doesn't have Crushing Blow. So let's say if you made an IG from Beast, Infinity, or Last Wish, you would get Crushing Blow. Now, Last Wish would be a kind of a strange thing to make an Iron Golem out of, but it does have 60% Crushing Blow, so there might be some world where you could design a build where that might work out for you. And then the other options were um, Insight, just because Insight has Critical Strike. Not to say it do a lot of damage, but it's a really cheap rune word to make an Iron Golem out of. He'd do pretty good damage. And then Mage Slayer doesn't have any benefits, but it is a cheap source of concentration. So as you can see, just doing the test of the same Iron Golem with and without Fanaticism, he got a 23% DPS increase. In general, just know this about Fanaticism. You're probably getting about a 20% DPS increase from a level 10 Fanaticism or a Beast. So now we're going to do two final tests, then the video is over. We're doing archers and mages, 55-55, um, with all of the auras you saw on the screen. I'm not doing battle command because my battle command is bugged on Pluggy, so I actually cannot cast it. I don't know why. And although I'm, I, I'm not using Infinity, you could maybe say it's not fair, but actually Green Goblins don't run Infinity usually. But um, Infinity would be a solid choice as well. For one, it also lowers defense, although I don't think that matters too much. It is something to keep in the back of your head. And although an Infinity Iron Golem is really expensive, it would actually be a super legit choice and probably help your clear speed more than a Pride Iron Golem. Um... I don't know that for sure, but honestly, mages still do a lot of damage on their own, and that would be really, really cool in my opinion. And also, especially, if, let's say you went into the Act 3 Holy Shock realm of a mage archer-based necromancer, maybe with some revives, then I think Infinity Iron Golem like is going to be just, you know, mwah. Especially if you go Eternity Necro, then there's like no reason not to use an Infinity Iron Golem. And as you can see, in-game with auras... The archer completely obliterates the mage. Now, I think even if I had an infinity iron golem, the archer would have out DPS'd him. Skeleton King out, guys. GG. Come and play with us, Danny.